Hello, I'm Jordan Midler and welcome to Raj Quit, a show about video games, and I don't know if you've heard, but single player games are dead. Yeah, that's it. It's been a good run, but it's over now. Goodbye and thanks for all the repetitive strain injury. Last week, virtual football sticker tycoons EA ingratiated themselves even more to the public when they shut down Visceral Studios and cancelled a Star Wars game. Oh sorry, we pivoted, which basically means we bend it but don't tell the kids. It's like when your mum has to tell you that your cat's dead so she just says he's fucked off to a farm. But in this case, a moisture farm. See, we Star Wars joke there. It's not all doom and gloom. But why? What reason could you possibly have for cancelling a Star Wars game? I mean, it's Star Wars. You know, Star Wars? Surely there's plenty of material in there for a great game. As one of my personal heroes once put it, it's about a space hairdresser and a cowboy and they're all made of Lego. Could they really not find a successful concept for a game out of that? It's a license to shite money. And that's just for fairly average games like Battlefront. Imagine what they could do with a good one. And make no mistake, this was lining up to be a belter. Captaining the ship was Amy Hennig, one of the lead creative forces behind Uncharted, one of the best single player action franchises in modern gaming. Slap some lightsabers and a bit of Gungan Genocide on there and you've got yourself a banger. However, not everyone shared this opinion, as the executioners themselves put it in a statement addressing the cancellation. Our Visceral Studio has been developing an action-adventure title set in the Star Wars universe. In its current form, it was shaping up to be a story-based linear adventure game. It has become clear that to deliver an experience that players will want to come back to and enjoy for a long time to come, we need to pivot the design. We will maintain the stunning visuals, authenticity in the Star Wars universe, and focus on bringing a Star Wars story to life. And for those of you that don't speak fluent public relations, that basically means see destiny. See all that fucking money it's making. We want that. And you'll pay for it because it says Star Wars on it. You prick. The you prick is in parentheses, of course, they're not rude. So of course, this fires the starting pistol on the old or oh, single player games dead debate. Those who think it's curtains for player one basically boil the point down to games that are expensive to make, so these games that tug at your jumper to pay attention to them and to spend more money are more profitable than something that you play once. Which does make perfect sense, but it's also about as appetising as a bio lasagna. What's wrong with playing games once? Some of the best games I've ever played, I've only played the ones. Also, there are fucking hundreds of games. It feels like every 20 minutes some smug games media prick like this is telling you how a game is magical and how it's a must play. What a wanker. Now, I 100% understand that games are expensive, so the prospect of something that you'll spend all year playing is more enticing than something you'll be done with in a weekend, but why do those have to be disparate things? The idea that a game can't be single player and have an engaging multiplayer is just insulting. The best multiplayer game of all time in my opinion is Modern Warfare. You know that game that just happened to have the best single player first person shooter campaign ever attached to it? But no, even COD these days is just a skinner box to get you to cough up money until you're dead. I'm honestly surprised that when they remade Modern Warfare last year you weren't opening loot boxes that looked like car bombs and dabbing on the Gaza Strip. Anyway, I'm not giving up the good fight. I don't want to have to draw out massive multi-layer plans to organise a gaming session that requires multiple people to fully enjoy. If I wanted a hobby that forced me to rely on other people, I'd have taken up competitive bobsledding. Anyway, tell me what you think of the creeping death of single player, of this obsession with multiplayer. In the meantime, I'm going back to New Donk City.